Continuing off the last tutorial, I'm going to go over some of the other settings within the procedural cloth component. So in this example, what I'm going to do is create a banner. So I'm going to double click my actor and select my component. Now, what I want to do is change the width and the height. So I'm just going to actually, in this case, change the width. So I'm going to set this to about 300, say, right there. Then what I'm going to do is grab this collision that I have and bring it over to this point and compile. Now when I press play, taking a look at this, this is pretty good. I can run through it and we'll have no problems. Let me raise it up just a little bit higher. So you can go and hang this up on a, a pole, uh, you know, to have a, a banner up there. But from what I'm looking at, let's say I want to add some more particles to this. Because if I walk through this right here, if I was to make this much bigger, you'd see it it'd look a lot more rigid around here. Right now you can kind of see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the settings of this to make it a little bit bigger. So you can see what I mean. So let's change this to 300. And this right here, let's stretch it out to 600. Something like that. To grab this and bring it over. Okay, and compile it. Raise it up just a little bit so it's not into the not hanging into the floor. I press play. Now you can see the rigid points on this. What I want to do is I want to make this much smoother, if that was what you want to do. So, to do that, open up your procedural cloth actor and select it. And what you want to do is change the number of particles wide and high. Now you can do it one or the other, but in this case I'm going to do both. So I'm going to go 30 and 30. Now, by doing this, uh, this also does affect performance if you have a lot of them. Um, I don't have that much, so it's actually going to run pretty well. Um, and also one thing you're going to notice, which what I was doing earlier, is the texture is getting a lot more stretched, the material. So if I come over here to cloth, I just have this other one I've created, and Sorry, click on that. That should fix it to where it's a lot better. Okay. It's just a longer material that I made from this one. But you have to go in and um, do that one yourself. So, when I have that, play. And you'll definitely notice a lot more of a, uh, a stretchiness to this. Definitely, as I go through, a lot less rigid. You notice that it hangs on the floor right here. Everything works really well. And those are just a few other settings that you can change within your cloth, uh, procedural cloth, that can um, create some different effects for you.